Hello Hampton Primary, welcome back to yoga. My name's Fiona. Brilliant to be back practicing with you again this week. Today we're focusing the class on shining our internal light and boosting our positivity. It's really normal, it's really natural to feel frustrated, to feel sad and angry when you're having a tough time. But you don't have to stay in that frame of mind. There's things that we can do to boost the positive energy through our body and our mind to help us feel better, to help us feel happier again. So things like yoga and movement, things like mindfulness and gratitude. So let's do some of that in our practice today. Let's start like we always do, turn the palms to the sky, take a big breath in, look up to the hands, and then with your breath out, draw the hands back down towards the heart. Two more just like that. Breathe in deeply. Breathe out long and smooth. Last time, breathe in. Breathe out, hands to the heart. And close your eyes. We bow forward. And together we say Namaste. Slowly rising back up, bringing the hands down onto the tops of the legs. Let's take a swirl through the spine to waken up the energy through our body, tap into our positivity. Good, and then take a pause there, reverse your circles, go around the other way. Keep breathing. Great. And then coming back up into an upright position. Our next pose, we make fists with the hands, release the index fingers, and then we're bringing the index fingers right into the corners of your mouth and then pushing upwards. What are you doing? Are you smiling? <laughs> Did you know that when you take the muscles of your, of your face into a smile position, it actually sends signals up to your brain and then your brain sends happiness and positivity endorphins out through your body. Isn't that amazing? Moving on from there, let's do some dough in to continue to um, set alight the energy through our body. So we start with little claw fingers and we're just going to gently tap over the top of our head, round the back, on the top, sides. You can feel inside your head. Is your brain soft and squishy or is it a hard brain in there? Maybe tapping down the sides of your jawbone. Good. Forehead. And then make a karate chop position with both hands. And we're just really gently gonna karate chop, wake up the sides of the neck, maybe the back of the neck. Make it feel good, not too hard. And then a little bit of a squish for your shoulders, a little bit of a massage. Maybe you get into the sides of the neck with your massage as well. Good. Back to fists, a little bit of a chest beat. Like a gorilla. And then just take one fist, extend your other arm out long, and we're going to pound over the top of your arm, and then down to the forearm, and then the inner line of the arm. Good. Stop once you get down to your hands and we're going to wiggle, wiggle, wiggle and pull the thumb. Wiggle, 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 pull index finger. Go on to tall man, wiggle, pull. Wiggle, 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 pull. And then down to your pinky, wiggle, 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 pull. Extend your same leg out nice and long. Two fists and then just pounding over the top of your thigh underneath. Get your hamstrings and then making little crabby claws. And we're just gonna give the backs of our legs, our calf muscles, 
a bit of a massage. Just be gentle, it can be a little bit tight in there. Picking up your ankle and maybe a little wake up for the sole of your foot. And then a wiggle and pull for your toes. Wiggle, 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 pull. Wiggle, 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 pull. Working your way down through all your five toes, all the way to your pinky toe. Wiggle, 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 and pull. So let's go over to the other side, making a fist with the opposite hand, and just starting at the top of your arm, waking everything up, all the way down to your forearm, the inner line of the arm. And let's get down to our hands, wiggle and pull thumb, index, wiggle, 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 pull, wiggle, 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 pull, all the way to your pinky, wiggle, 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 pull, and then extend your other leg out. Double fists, bit of a pounding up at the top of your thigh, get underneath to your hamstring. That's it, crabby claw hands onto your calf muscles, being gentle if you've got super tight spots in there. And then picking up your ankle, a bit of a pound out for the sole of your foot. And then wiggle and pull those toes, starting with your big toe, wiggle, pull. You might get a few pops and clicks. Wiggle, 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 pull. Wiggle, 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 pull. Wiggle, wiggle, pull. And then last one, pinky, wiggle, 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 and pull. Okay, we're gonna move into a tabletop position now. So let's stack the hands underneath the shoulders, knees hip width apart, and we'll start by breathing in, looking up to the sky, breathing out, rounding the upper back. Really get your spine flowing. Inhale, chest to the sky, eyes up to the sky. Exhale, round in. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Coming back to a straight spine position. And then let's release the left leg out to the side. And we're gonna twist up to the sky with the left hand, inhale. And then exhale, twist underneath your body. Two more, inhale. Exhale, twist through. Where do you feel the stretch? Maybe on the inner line of your leg, maybe through your spine. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Good, bringing your hand back down underneath your chest. And let's slowly climb our way up into an upright position. We'll reach the hands up and overhead, breath in, and then breath out, side bend like a big rainbow over towards your leg. And then up and over the other way, side, stretch. And one more time through like that beautiful, positive, colorful rainbow on a rainy day. And then over the other way, last one. Good, circle forward. And then let's do that on the other side. So we'll kick the other leg out, right leg out this time, right arm reaches up and then twist through. Couple more, reaching up and twisting through. Last one, big breath in, breath out as you twist. Good, back to neutral and then walking the hands back so you can climb yourself up into an upright position. Palms touch overhead. One more round of these rainbow side bends, reaching over towards your leg first and then hands up and over. Big plank position. Good, one more reaching up and over. And then sweep that rainbow up and overhead into this side plank. Last breath, reach, reach, and then rolling forward. Good. Let's turn sideways. And from here, 
We're gonna reach the right leg long, take a breath in, and then curl your right knee in towards your nose. Let's do that two more times. Reach the right leg long, and then round in, curl in. Last one, reach, and curl. So if you're happy doing these ones, you can stay with the left knee down on the ground. If you are feeling strong and positive today, why not try coming into plank and doing this from a plank position? So you'll curl your knee into nose and then stretch the leg back. Two more times, curl in and stretch. Last one, curl the knee in, nose and knee touch if you can and then reaching back, and then we lower the knees down. So we'll do that same thing on the other side. Left leg reaches out, take a breath in, and then with the breath out, round in, stretch back, round in. Last one, stretch, and round in. And then decide again whether you wanna keep going, doing it that way, or maybe coming into plank position. And then we're taking left knee in and stretching back. Left knee in, curl knee to nose and stretch. And one more, curl in and stretch back. Good, release your knees down and we'll come into a kneeling position. Another way that we can shine our light of positivity is to practice mindfulness. So today we're gonna to do some mindful candle breathing. Let's link our fingers and then release your index fingers up towards the sky to create your candle. Relax your shoulders, relax your arms alongside the body and then just begin, begin to focus your gaze onto the tips of your fingers and start to imagine that there's a flickering, vibrant, warm, positive flame growing up out of your fingertips. Keep your focus on the dancing flame. Notice the colors, yellows, oranges. And then with your next breath in, make it a little deeper, make it a little fuller. And then you're gonna breathe out through your mouth and just gently blow the flame of your candle. We don't wanna blow it out. Let's just make it dance and flicker in front of us. We'll do that three more times. Breathe in through the nose, fill your lungs with air and then a gentle breath out through your mouth, blow your candle. Two more times, breathe in. Gentle breath out through your mouth. Watching those flames flickering and vibrant. Last time, breathe in. And out. and then releasing your hands down. Okay, let's get back to moving. We'll step up to the top of the mat. Did you know that our body language and our brain are connected? So if your body is in a really slumped and sad position, it's sending signals to your brain to be down in the dumps and be negative. But if you bring your shoulders up and back and let your chest shine forward with confidence and vibrance, it instantly sends messages to your head to go, no, no, I'm okay, I'm happy, I'm positive. That's another thing for you to try. Another really positive thing that we do in yoga is sun salutations. There's nothing more positive than the sun. It brings light, it brings warmth, and it brings growth. So let's do some salutations. 
hands out to the side. Let's breathe in and look up to that warm, vibrant, glowing sun. Exhale, hands down, fold forward. Inhale, take a half lift, strong, long back. Exhale, fold forward, bend your knees deeply, plant your hands flat. And we're gonna step our right foot back into a lunging position. Bring your nose in towards your knee, turn your fingertips down towards the mat, and we're gonna inhale and open up, paint the sky with your favorite positive color. Mine's red, maybe yours is yellow or orange. Two more like that, round in and paint the sky, open your positive heart to the sun. And one more, inhale and exhale. Hands down around your front foot, tuck your back toe under and let's step back into plank position. Take a breath here, stay really strong in your plank, lower your knees if you need to. And then with your next exhale, Keep your elbows tucked in and lower all the way down onto your belly. Inhale up for Cobra. Exhale, lower down. Tuck your toes and then we're going to push our way back into Downward Facing Dog. So there really isn't a more positive animal than a dog. Aren't they just the best? It's like they're always happy to see us. So let's be positive dogs today. Wiggle your tail. Wiggle, waggle. Maybe some barking. <laughs> and then come back into stillness. Stepping your way back up to the top of the mat. Take another half lift, hands on shins or down on the mat. Exhale, fold forward. And then push down through your feet as you roll up through your spine, saluting that warm, beautiful, life-giving sun. Touch hands together, folding back down. One more half lift, long spine, gaze ahead of your mat. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands, left foot steps back this time. Nose and knee connect. Turn your fingertips down to the mat and maybe you choose a different positive color this time. We'll round up and open up. Two more. Nose and knee together, and then sweep up, paint the sky with your positive color. Last one. And then bringing your hands back down around your front foot, tuck the back toe and step back plank pose. Breathe in, breathe out, lower down. Cobra, using your back body strength to lift you up. Exhale, lower, tuck your toes and back into positivity dog. Woof, 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 woof. Good. Gently making your way back up to the top of the mat. Last half lift, fold forward and roll to standing. Salute the sun one last time. Hands to heart. Did you know that positive lightning is super powerful and really, really rare? So let's be positive lightning bolts today. Have your feet hip width apart, arms up, and then bending at your knees, sitting your bottom back. Sit down into your lightning bolt pose. Super positive lightning. You might get a little bit of burning in the legs. That's just the legs strengthening. Take a last breath and then standing back up, hands to heart. Step your right leg back and ground your heel, but see if you can square your hips towards the front of your mat. This is powerful, positive warrior pose. Hands up, take a breath in. And then with your breath out, draw fists of fire into your belly and tense your belly muscles. Breathe in. Breathe out, fists of fire. Last one, breathe in. Breathe out, fists of fire. Arms back. Bring all your awareness into your front foot and we're gonna spring off the back heel 
and become a beautiful soaring eagle looking down onto the hills, onto nature below. See if you can balance. And then we gently step back down. Good, turn your toes towards the long edge of your yoga mat. We're gonna bring the hands up and overhead. And then let's bend the right knee and we're gonna make big infinity circles with our arms. Bend one leg, straighten the other leg. We're gonna go up and around. Good. Endless possibilities, endless opportunities, infinity circles, hands up, and then bring your hands back down towards your heart. Turn your heels in towards the midline of your body, bend your knees, and then let's turn ourselves into a vibrant, positive star. Keep sinking your hips down, Feel your star legs warming up. Good. And then we're going to side bend over to one side and then over to the other side. Good. Come back up and stand back up. Give your legs a little bit of a break. Step up to the back of the mat. Positive lightning bolt. Here we go. Arms up. Bend your knees. Sit your hips back. Sit down a little lower into your lightning bolt this time if you can. Keep your breath steady. And then gently stand back up. This time the left foot steps back. Positive, strong, powerful warrior pose. And then we're bringing hands up overhead. Another round of fists of fire. So when you exhale, tense your belly muscles. Breathe in, breathe out, fists of fire. Two more, breathe in and breathe out. Last one, breathe in, hands up, breathe out. Arms back behind you, bring all your awareness into your front foot and then we're gonna fly, soar like an eagle. Challenge your balance. And then bend your front knee, step back lightly. Turn your toes again towards the long edge of the mat. Arms up, another round of infinity circles, let's go. This time we're gonna bend the left knee first. Round we go. Sweeping your arms around your endless circle. Good, and then standing back up, hands to heart. One more round of twinkling star. Bring your arms into that cactus shape. You can twinkle your fingers, breathing. And then this time we'll side bend over to the left first, come back through center, and then last one over to the other side, center. And then standing back up straight, giving your legs a little bit of a break. Okay, let's come down onto the mat. Just gently taking yourself down and then a slow roll onto your back. Maybe a hug into the knee, in, of the knees in towards the chest. Proton pose. You could have a little rock side to side. So we'll give candlestick pose a go today. Let's bring the feet flat onto the mat and then hugging the knees in towards your chest and bringing the feet up overhead. From here, you can nuzzle your elbows in towards your waist and then lifting your hips, bringing your hands on to the back of your bottom. So you can stay in a diagonal position with your legs if you like, or you can sort of work up onto the backs of your shoulders and bring your feet 
up overhead and maybe your toes can twinkle like a flickering candle. So it's really important with this one not to look around and if it's feeling too difficult, just lower down a bit and you can come into that more diagonal shape with the legs. So stay for another breath. You can twinkle your candle toes. Feet up or in that diagonal position. And then when you're ready, just bending the knees in and using your hands on your bottom as a bit of a break just to control your roll back down onto your back. And then bring your feet mat width apart, arms out and just have a little swoosh out for the legs. Great. It wouldn't be a positivity yoga class without doing a happy baby pose. So let's do that one next. Soles of the feet up towards the sky. Let's take the hands onto the outside edges of the feet and we're working the knees towards the armpits. You can have a little rock side to side if that feels good. And then lowering your feet down, arms out. And let's finish with a twist. So we'll bring the knees in and then rock the legs over to one side. Try and keep the backs of your shoulders down on the mat. Take a breath. And then swivel the legs over the other way. One final twist. Gently back into center and time to extend those legs out long and time for relaxation. So get yourself really comfortable, nuzzle back into your mat, close your eyes, let your breath be really natural. And as you rest back, let something that you're really, really grateful and thankful for float into your mind and fill your awareness. So that can be absolutely anything. A person, someone you love, a family member, a friend that you're so thankful to have in your life. It could be a special place that you like to go, even a place in your house, or it could be a thing, a favorite pet, a game you have, an object that's really important and you're thankful for that in your life. So focus on this special thing Just breathe and relax back. And be thankful, be grateful when we're practicing gratitude and noticing the positive things in our life can really help us to feel happier, feel more positive in general. So we've got another three breaths here. Keep feeling those waves of gratitude and positivity about your special item. Let them wave over you. And then we'll slowly begin to wake ourselves up from our relaxation. Maybe a little roll of the head side to side. You might like to roll out the wrists and ankles. Wiggle the fingers and toes. 
And then when you're ready, rolling off to one side and then gently using the support of your hands to bring you up into your comfortable seat. Touch your palms together. It's been an honor to guide you through this positivity focus class today. Remember, if you're feeling down, you can always help to shift that frame of mind by doing things like moving, yoga, mindfulness, or practicing gratitude. I'll see you next time. Namaste.